Tom Nelson here from the Outdoor Line, and we've been getting a lot of questions lately on, on the website with regard to blackmouth techniques, particularly fishing spoons. Flutter spoons, these are silver cord, 3.5s and 4.0 spoons, and uh, from the factory, they're a little flat. They don't have a lot of character to them, right? Here's one of my old favorite spoons here, and you can tell it's a favorite because it has a paint about ground off it by the blackmouth, and look at the bend. So we're up in the front and we're down in the back, right? So it's real simply, we just need to support the spoon because we don't want a hard angular bend. We want a very smooth radius bend. So you can see I'm increasing it up and I'm supporting the spoon with my fingers as I'm doing it. So now we kick it down at the back a little bit. And I'm using my whole thumb to mash into it and just and increase that, that camber a little bit too. So now you can see it's, it's subtle but it makes a big difference in the action of that spoon. Also, the stock hooks have gotten much better. It's a sickle hook on that, that's fine. But through the course of a day, that hook's gonna go dull. What you need to do is have a bunch of siwash hooks handy, okay? And if they're real easy to replace. They're, they'll, they come open eye. And you need to bend the, you'll need to bend the hook too. All right, so there's, there's, your, there's your open eye siwash. Drop the spoon in there, okay? We're gonna go ahead and pinch, pinch it shut, okay? Pinch the hook shut, but then the trick is we're gonna offset this hook a lot like uh, an octopus hook. We're gonna kick it in, all right? Now we're also gonna pinch the bar, okay? So there we go. What you've done there, you got a hook with a little more length, you got an offset that's gonna grab a little more flesh, and you've got You've, you've decreased the gape, so that hook is really gonna hold. Also, when you're towing it through the water, it's a little more straight line. So that is a tuned up spoon with a tuned up hook and a nice way to just put a couple more fish in your box. I'm Tom Nelson from The Outdoor Line, it's just a couple, couple quick tricks.